it's Amanda. Um, I just wanted to do a quick little video on the importance of why we need our wigs to fit and how a wig should fit you. Um, I know, you know, lots of you that do wear wigs and maybe don't come to us um, might not be aware of this or really have the concerns that my wig moves, it doesn't fit me properly, it bags at the top, um, it's sore because of the movement. So I just want to give you my sort of golden tips for why it's important and how we look at um, a wig fitting us properly. So I'm wearing a folia today. This is the um, this is by folia, and folia come with these little hats, so we can try them on you. And to me, it's really important because when I ordered my first ever folia, which is the Gripper Light, I actually ordered it in the wrong size. I'm actually extra small which is awesome because I'm never extra small in anything. Um, and I ordered the small thinking that would be fine. So it's really important that when you're coming into the salon, we're actually trying these on you. Um, and a lot of brands will do these little hats for us to try on and get the sizing right. So what do I do when I'm sizing a wig for you? Firstly, I make sure that the hairline is where it needs to sit. So four fingers from the brow line up, is our natural hairline. Now, obviously I don't have any frontal hair and I'd quite happily let my wig sit there. Doesn't look natural. So I know that it must sit here on me. Um, and I still measure mine all the time because like I say, that's comfy for me. So um, yeah, so four fingers from the top. Then we come along to the little sides. Always make sure that your wigs are even. Don't wear them off bonk. Now, I personally, like I've said before, like quite a high finish um, to my wig. Now, obviously, a lot of the wigs will come with these metal stays. Now, the metal stay for me should sit just above the temple line. I like to wear my hair behind my ear, so I like a little bit of movement here. And also to get my glasses in, um, I find that really important. I don't want it coming down here really square um, so you can see the wig or if I am wanting to wear it up, I like this little bit of movement. And if you are a behind the ear wearer, it's really important that you have that in your wig. Um, and it doesn't matter what brand you're wearing or how expensive the wig is, these little things are what are really important. So if I have a lady that comes in, she wears glasses, and obviously at the moment we're all wearing masks or a hearing aid, I need this movement to sit really nice. So for example, in our fibres, the Lotus uh, range is stunning for this and I absolutely love Centu Lotus range for this reason. The caps are nice and petite. So this is a really important feature of, of looking at a cap construction. The next one is how high and low it sits on the back of the neck. A wig should not come down here, um, certainly not in the winter months when we're wearing polar neck jumpers and we're wearing scarves and you know I'm wearing my big parker coat with a great big hood. Um, if I'm wearing a wig that's going to come really low it's actually going to push up. So for me I quite like to wear a wig really high just under the bone um, it should sit really nicely onto the hairline. Um, again too low it's just going to be uncomfortable so it's really important that when we are trying these wigs on we are looking at how they fit um, a salon such as us at Hair to Wear we're going to construct the wigs and take them in if it is something that is quite um, exclusive such as the folia light then we would be trying these little caps on you um, and just making sure that the sizing's right because like I say they come in all different sizes and believe it or not in folia I'm actually extra small which I'm loving. But this is the cap construction of what I'm wearing. Um, and as you can see, when I'm trying this on, I'm making sure that it fits perfect on my hairline. And that is really, really important to when we're wearing a wig every single day, such as me, you know, 16 hours a day plus that we are doing that. So when you are buying your wigs, it's really important to measure your head. So like, I've got a little bit of regrowth, by the way. I'm not getting too excited, guys, because I have got Ariata, um, which means it can fall out at any second. But yeah, this is this is good for me. I feel like I look about three months old. Um, but you know, it's all good, it's all good. We will watch what happens. I'll keep you posted. Um, so when we are measuring, we don't go too far down the back of the head. I've got a really flat head. Um, I actually measure around about 56 centimetres. Yeah, but I actually wear my wigs at 54 centimetres. And the reason I wear my wigs at 54 centimetres is because the back of my head is flat. 
and I always need to take a wig in. So for example, I love the John Rene Hort, one of my fave fibre wigs. I absolutely adore this queen. Um, but when I wear her, when I wear my own one, this one's off the peg, literally, and I haven't brushed her or designed her at all yet. She's got terrible box hair. Um, but this is actually too big for me. This is an average cap size from John Renault um, Hort. But she's far too big. So if I was to wear this, it's going to sit quite high. I've got all this extra wig. Not really great. Don't want to walk, rock around with this sort of bouffant. So what I actually do with this wig is I will take some of the back tracks out. I will remove some of the back of this wig. Probably about four pieces and it will sit very very flat on my head so that is the great thing about coming to a salon um, such as hair to wear we will construct the wigs and we will take them in for you so there is no this extra movement we are looking at where it sits on the hair and like i say if it needs taken in such as me with my flat head we just nip them in and we will be taking them wefts out and then obviously cutting it and thinning it out, adding them baby hairs that I talk about all the time. Um, and all them little extras that are so important for us, well, especially when we're first time wearers, of how and why we need to wear something that fits us right. We all have completely different shape heads. Um, you know, there's me with my flat head, <laughs> um, finding it hard to wear wigs. Um, straight off the peg um but that's quite normal not many of us are going to be able to take something off the peg stick it on and go wow it's perfect um i like to take a lot of density out of my wigs as well um just to make sure they sit slightly finer where i'm used to having finer hair um, i've never had a lot of hair even when i had hair back in the day um so i don't like to wear anything too thick or too overpowering so i like to thin them out on me quite a bit um, but yeah, I just wanted to kind of come on and explain that to you, that why it's important that they're fitting. So we are measuring or we're looking at caps. Um, and then obviously we're going through colour. I mean, every single um, company is going to have their own colouring and their own designs. So we can go through absolutely everything. Um, we are super lucky here. We do hold, as you know, a very large amount of stock. Probably have about 800 fibre wigs in at the moment, a couple of hundred human hair toppers pieces you name it um but it's just about getting the right one for you the right fit the right style the right color the right cut so um yeah that's me have a lovely sunday and i'll speak to you soon